glad that you're joining us this morning in this online service at St. Paul's in Riverside. We know that we are praying for you and we've been your prayers for all of us here at St. Paul's. Our opening verses. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on you and forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and it will be forever. Amen. Sing together Psalm 100. Be joyful in the Lord, all holy hands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this. The Lord himself is God. He made us of his mates, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, and his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, let us adore him. We continue with Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Paul's letter to the Ephesians. For once you were darkness, but now in the Lord you are light. Live as children of light, for the fruit of the light is found in all that is good and right and true. Try to find out what is pleasing to the Lord. Take no part in the unfruitful work of darkness, but instead expose them. For it is shameful even to mention what such people do secretly. But everything exposed by the light becomes visible. For everything that becomes visible is light. Therefore it says, Sleeper, awake, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine upon you. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. We, we continue with the psalm of Isaiah. Surely, Surely it is, God, is God, who God who saves me. me. I, I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my Savior. Therefore you shall draw water with rejoicing, from the springs of salvation, and on that day you shall say, 
We give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things. And this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion, bring out your joy. For the Great One in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and it will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of John. As he walked along, he saw a man blind from birth. His disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned? This man or his parents, that he was born blind. Jesus answered, Neither this man nor his parents sinned. He was born blind so that God's work might be revealed in him. We must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. Night is coming, and no one can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. When he had said this, he spat on the ground and made mud with his saliva and spread the mud on the man's eyes, and said to him, Go, wash in the pool of sorrow, which means ascent. Then he went and washed, and came back and was able to see. The neighbors and those who had seen him before as a beggar began to ask, Is this not the man who used to sit and beg? And some were saying, It is he. Others were saying, No, it is not him, it is someone like him. But he kept on saying, I am the man. But they kept asking him, Then how were, you, were your eyes opened? He answered, The man called Jesus made mud, spread it on my eyes, and said to me, Go and wash. And Siloam, Siloam, and wash. Then I went and washed and received my sight. They said to him, Where is he? He said, I do not know. They brought to the Pharisees the man who had been formerly blind. Now it was the Sabbath day, and Jesus made the mud and opened his eyes. Then the Pharisees also began to ask him how he had received his sight. He said to them, he put mud on the man's eyes, then washed, and now I see. Some of the Pharisees said, this man is not from God, for he does not observe the Sabbath. But others said, how can a man who is a sinner perform such signs? But they were divided. So they again said to the blind man, What do you say about him? It was your eyes that were opened. He said, He is a prophet. The Jews did not believe that he had been blind and had received his sight until they called his parents of the man who had received his sight and asked them, Is this your son, who they say was born blind? How then does he now see? His parents asked. We know that this is our son, and that he was born blind. But we do not know how it is that now he sees, nor do we know who opened his eyes. They asked of him, He is of age, he will speak for himself. And his parents said this because they were afraid of the Jews, for the Jews had already agreed that anyone who confessed Jesus to be the Messiah would be put out of the synagogue. Therefore his parents said, He is of age. Ask him. So for the second time they called the man who had been born blind, and they said to him, Give glory to God. We know that this man is a sinner. He answered, I do not know whether he is a sinner. One thing I do know, though, is that I was born blind, and now I see. They said to him, What did he do to you? How did he open your eyes? He answered them, I have already told you, but you would not listen. Why do you want to hear it again? Do you also want to become his disciple? Then they reviled him, saying, You are the disciple. You were with the disciples of Moses. We know this, that God has spoken to Moses, but as for this man, we do not know where he comes from. The man answered, Here is an astonishing thing. You do not know where he comes from, and yet he opened my eyes? We know that God does not listen to sinners, but he does listen to the one who worships him and obeys his will. Never since the world began has it been able to hear anyone open the eyes of a person who was born blind. 
If this man were not of God, he could do nothing. They answered him, You were born entirely in sin, and are you trying to teach us? And they drove him out. Jesus heard that they had driven him out. And when he found him, he said, Do you believe in the Son of Man? He answered, And who is he, sir? Tell me, so that I may believe in him. Jesus said to him, You have seen him, and the one speaking with you is he. He said, Lord, I believe, and he worshipped him. Jesus said, I came into the world for judgment, so that those who do not see may see now, and those who do not see may become blind. Some of the Pharisees near him heard this and said to him, Surely we are not blind, are we? Jesus said to them, If you were blind, you would not have sinned. But now that you say we see, your sin remains. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.